And now we're resuming sub-element E6, circuit components. Six exam questions come from the six groups. E6A, semiconductor materials and devices. Semiconductor materials, bipolar junction transistors, operation and types of field effect transistors. E6A01, in what application is gallium arsenide used as a semiconductor material? Answer is C, in microwave circuits. E6A02, which of the following semiconductor materials contains excess free electrons? A. N type. E6A03, why does a PN junction diode not conduct electric current when reverse biased? C. Holes in P type material and electrons in the N type material are separated by the applied voltage, widening the depletion region. E6A04, what is the name given to an impurity atom that adds holes to a semiconductor crystal structure? C. Acceptor impurity. E6A05, how does DC input impedance at the gate of a field effect transistor compare with that of a bipolar transistor? C. An FET has higher input impedance. E6A06, what is the beta of a bipolar junction transistor? It's B, the change in collector current with respect to base current. E6A07, which of the following indicates that a silicon NPN junction transistor is biased on? D, base to emitter voltage of approximately 0.6 volts to 0.7 volts. E6A08, what is the term for the frequency at which the grounded base current gain of a bipolar junction transistor has decreased to 0.7 of the gain obtainable at 1 kilohertz? D, alpha cutoff frequency. E6A09, what is a depletion mode field effect transistor? A an FET that exhibits a current flow between source and drain when no gate voltage is applied. E6A10, in figure E6-1, which is the schematic symbol for an in-channel dual gate MOSFET? That correct answer is B, which is 4. Figure 4. E6A11 in figure E6-1, which is the schematic symbol for a P-channel junction FET. That answer is A, which is number 1. E6A12, what is the purpose of connecting Zener diodes between a MOSFET gate and its source or drain? D, to protect the gate from static damage. E6B covers diodes. E6B01, what is the most useful characteristic of a Zener diode? B, constant voltage drop under conditions of varying current. E6B02, what is which characteristic of a Schottky diode makes it better choice than a silicon junction diode for use as a power supply rectifier? D, lower forward voltage drop. E6B03, what property of an LED's semiconductor material determines its forward voltage drop? B, band gap. E6B04, what type of semiconductor device is designed for use as a voltage controlled capacitor? A, varactor diode. E6B05, what characteristic of a pin diode makes it useful as an RF switch? D. Low junction capacitance. E6B06, which of the following is a common use of a Schottky diode? D. As a VHF, UHF mixer or detector. E6B07, what causes a junction diode to fail from excessive current? B. Excessive junction temperature. E6B08, which of the following is a Schottky barrier diode. A. Metal semiconductor junction. 
E6B09, what is a common use for point contact diodes? And that's C as an RF detector. E6B10, in figure E6-2, which is the schematic symbol for a Schottky diode? Answer is B, number 6. E6B11, what is used to control the attenuation of RF signals by a pin diode? A, forward DC bias current. E6C covers digital ICs, families of digital ICs, gates, and programmable logic devices. E6C01, what is the function of hysteresis in a comparator? A, to prevent input noise from causing unstable output signals. E6B, or C02, what happens when the, the level of a comparator's input signal crosses the threshold voltage? B, the comparator changes its output state. E6C03, what is tri-state logic? A. Logic devices with 0, 1, and high impedance output states. E6C04. Which of the following is an advantage of a by CMOS logic? C. It has high input impedance of CMOS and low output impedance of bipolar transistors. E6C05. Which of the following digital logistics? logic families has the lowest power consumption. D. CMOS. E6C06. Why do CMOS digital integrated circuits have high immunity to noise on the input signal or power supply? C. The input switching threshold is about half the power supply voltage. E6 C07. Which best describes a pull up or pull down transistor. B. A resistor connected to the positive or negative supply used to establish a voltage when an input or output is an open circuit. E6C08 in figure E6-5 or 3 which is the schematic symbol for a NAND gate. That correct answer is B which is number 2. E6C09, what is used to design the configuration of a field programmable gate array, also known as FPGA? That would be B, Hardware Description Language, HDL. E6C10 and figure E6-3, which is the schematic symbol for a NOR gate? Answer is D, number 4. E6C11 says in figure E6-3, which is the schematic symbol for a NOT operation or inversion. C, number 5. E6D covers inductors and piezoelectric permeability, core materials and configuration, transformers, piezoelectric devices. E6D01, what is piezoelectricity? C. A characteristic of materials that generate a voltage when stressed and that flex when a voltage is applied. E6D02. What is the equivalent circuit of a quartz crystal? A. Series RLC in parallel with a shunt C representing electrode and stray capacitance. E6D03. Which of the following is an aspect of a piezoelectric effect? A. Mechanical deformation of materials due to the application of a voltage. E6D04. Why are cores of inductors and transformers sometimes constructed of thin layers? B. To reduce power loss from ED currents in the core. E6D05. How do ferrite and powdered iron compare for use in an inductor core? C. Ferrite cores generally require fewer turns to produce a given inductance value. E6D06. What core material property determines the inductance of an inductor? 
D, permeability. E, 6D07, what is the current that flows in the primary winding of a transformer when there is no load on the secondary winding? D, magnetizing current. E, 6D08, which of the following materials has the highest temperature stability of its magnetic characters? characteristics? B, powdered iron. E6 D09, what devices are commonly used as VHF and UHF parasitic suppressors at the input and output terminals of a transistor HF amplifier? C, ferrite beads. E6 D10, what is the primary advantage of using a toro toroidal core instead of a solenoidal core in an inductor? A. Toroidal cores can find most of the magnetic field within the core materials. E6 D11. Which type of core material decreases inductance when inserted into a coil? B. Brass. E6 D12. What causes inductor saturation? C. Operation at excessive magnetic flux. E6E covers semiconductor materials and packages for RF use. E6E01, why is gallium arsenide useful in semiconductor devices operating at UHF and higher frequencies? B, higher electron mobility. E6E02, which of the following devices, device packages is a through-hole type? A, dip. E6E03, which of the following materials supports the highest frequency of operation when used in MMICs? D. Gallium nitride. E6E04, which is the most common input and output impedance of MMICs? A. 50 ohms. E6E05, which of the following noise figure values is typical of a low noise UHF preamplifier. A 0 0.5 dB. E6 E06 what characteristics of a MMICs make them popular choice for VHF through microwave circuits? D controlled gain, low noise figure, and constant input and output impedance over the specified frequency range. E6 E07 what type of transmission line is often used for connecting connections to MMICs? D. Microstrip. E6, E08. How is power supplied to the most common types of MMIC? C. Through a resistor and or RF choke connected to the amplifier output lead. E6, E09. Which of the following component package types have the least parasitic effects at frequencies above the HF range. D. Surface mount. E6, E10. What advantage does surface mount technology offer at RF compared to using through-hole components? D. All of these choices are correct. So the correct answers are a smaller circuit area, shorter circuit board traces, and components have less parasitic inductance and capacitance. E6, E11. What is a characteristic of dip packaging used for integrated circuits. D. Two rows of connecting pins on opposite sides of the package, dual inline package. E6, E12. Why are dip through whole package ICs not typically used at UHF and higher frequencies? And that's C. Due to excessive lead length. E6F. Electro-optical technology photoconductivity, photovoltaic devices, optical sensors and encoders, optically isolated switching. E6F01, what absorbs the energy from light falling on a photovoltaic cell? Electrons, answer C. E6F02, what happens to photoconductive material when light shines on it? A, resistance decreases. E6F03, what is the most common configuration of an opto-isolator or opto-coupler? That's D, an LED and a phototransistor. E6F04, what is a, the photovoltaic effect? 
That's B, the conversion of light to electrical energy. E6F05, which the following describes an optical shaft encoder. A, a device that detects rotation by interrupting a light source with a patterned wheel. E6F06, which of, the following, which of these materials is most commonly used to create photoconductive devices? C. Crystalline Semiconductor E6F07, what is a solid state relay? B. A device that uses semiconductors to implement the functions of an electromechanical relay. E6F08, why are opto-isolators often used in conjunction with solid state circuits that control 120 volt AC circuits? C. Opto-isolators provide an electrical isolation between a control circuit and the circuit being switched. E6F09. What is the efficiency of a photovoltaic cell? D. The relative fraction of light that is converted to current. E6F10. What is the most common material used in power generating photovoltaic cells? B. Silicon. And that concludes sub-element E6. Thank you for joining us, and hopefully you will continue on with sub-element E7. Thank you.